Hey everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Lordran. In the last episode, we made it to An Orlando. I'm here, it's calm. The birds are chirping, which I never noticed. That there's birds chirping here. Very peaceful, very, very peaceful. Listen, since the last episode, I have to come clean. I had to unfortunately kill Priscilla because she was following me and she tried to kill me. It was self-defense. She was coming right at me, so I had to shoot her. Interesting thing is, uh, there was like some portal there that I apparently unlocked to the abyss, and the great cliffhanger, which I'm sure kept you on the edge of your seats all since two days ago, is whether I'm gonna go there or not. Uh, the answer is, I don't know yet. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to continue right here. Let's see, what a number. I'm gonna continue right here. And we'll just kinda see what happens. Um, my big, like, worry... My big worry is that I would jinx a perfectly functional good run <clears throat> if I went to the abyss. Because it may be like a super hard area or something. Um, and I'm not sure if jinxing this run is really what I want to do. I will find a way to, or a place uh, to set my thing. My thing, I mean my bonfire. Because I feel like it's gonna be needed. <laughs> oh fuck, the clam. Are these clams always colored like this? They must be. It's just kinda weird seeing them, you know, like this. I'm gonna check out the area. The area with the uh, the way back to oh shit okay well that's convenient with the way back to Sens. Mind Quelka's spear. If fight Dark Edge oh somebody said oh they mentioned that I apparently picked up some like oh shit look at this thing. Three eighty. That deals even more damage than what I have. And it has a spear move set as well. Holy shit. Okay, I somehow gotta get myself fast rolling. Cause this might be Holy shit. This does even more damage. No scaling though. 380 and this one has It's not that much of a difference with the scaling, honestly. Okay, I'll use it for a little bit. I'll use it for a little bit. I'll check it out because that weapon has a lot of things going for it, including, yep, okay, nothing. Including its range and all that. So I don't know. This is a good weapon. It seems like a good weapon. Oh shit. <laughs> what is that? That's the uh, the large club, isn't it? I think it is. And again, don't worry, I'm gonna find a place for my bonfire, it's just... I really wanna put it in a place where I'm not gonna get spawn spawned, swarmed by respawning enemies as soon as I hit the bonfire so I can do my thing in peace. But still, the thing I've been saying since the beginning that this is a good run holds true. Interesting. 284 Okay. Dead death though. I think 
this might be the place. Because I'm pretty sure you cannot... No, you might be able to put a bonfire on the bridge like that. But this is a good place because red phantoms do not respawn. Alright, I'm going to kindle this for sure. And we are gonna... Hmm. What does refined do? Whatever it does... It fucking... What's the difference? Because that like adds hella damage. Fuck it. What are we here for if not to take risks, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for one vitality. Two endurance, three endurance, because I feel like I need a lot of endurance. I thought something was approaching. Seriously, it must have been like something I saw in the corner of my eye. The reason I'm boosting endurance so much, you probably know. I do wonder. Yes. Okay. It's all I wanted. Jesus. Ah, uh, this is not a mimic. And all it contained is shit. I still gotta be careful. You know the old Isaac classic of having a good run and screwing it up. It's honestly the last thing I want to do. And there's, believe me, many ways to screw up a run in a roguelike. But I still think this is it. And the reason I'm Again, probably not going to go to the Abyss or any of those other areas because I really feel like we got a good thing going for us. Okay. Am I going to get fucked by the camera here? I think I turned it off, didn't I? Yeah, I did. The camera has a bad habit of getting stuck. <laughs> those dr I love it when these slow motion enemies die because... It always seems like they're just being very, very dramatic for no reason. Oh, shit. The thing I'm scared of now is what the hell they're going to put up here. What kind of horrors. A fucking Tower Knight or something. A Baronique Knight. Or nothing. Listen, if you put nothing up here, I'm just grateful for it. I guess you can't... I think the reason here is probably that they probably disabled enemies for this section. And the reason is because probably... Like 80% of whatever you put here ends up just straight up falling to their death. So it's most likely easier to just... Disable enemies for this area. See? Already something died. And we didn't even have to do shit. That's the power of gravity. Truly the ultimate weapon. I wonder if this area is gonna finish with Orn not Ornstein and Smo, but in that boss room. I assume yes. 
And that's why I place my bonfire there. I feel like even if I have to run back, that's not the worst run in the world. Or maybe it's possible to leave through the painted world. That would just be even more convenient. Or maybe they're gonna put a boss in here. Certainly seems like they would. I mean, this is a prime area for a boss battle. If you think about it. Contraption does not move. Or you can just put that. I'm also okay with that. I still... Apparently not. I'm still like trying to figure out what the dar downside of this weapon upgrade is. Just checking in general. I have time today, it's just... I can get my bearings. Because I thought it was going to become like super like brittle or something. Uh, I don't want to go down to the Gwendolyn area. I'm too lazy. I will fully admit that I'm too lazy. This is the area is like so devoid of everything. I think always <laughs> yeah. All right. It must be summer mosquito season. A super slow mosquito. A mozzie as they call it in Australia. Eat shit, bitch. You ain't never seen weapons like this. Alright. This, this is very different. Like, this whole Anne Orlando experience. I'm so used to the... To the classics, you know. The winged demons who are annoying. We're gonna have the archers soon. And this is kind of jarring. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Aside from the fact that, as I said, this place is like strangely devoid of enemies. Obviously, no archers. Same issue as previously mentioned. That I think. Oh, there's a dragon. No. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh no. What the hell was that? Physics. What the hell was that? The one time Dark Souls physics actually makes sense. It ends up pushing me to my death. Fuck. I'm pissed about that. And these enemies are like mega resistant too. Backstabs. I can't believe that's how we had a death. Rapong magic, my favorite type of magic. I gotta check out the description. Fireball, hurl hunt sunlight spear. Lightning spears inflict physical damage, making it well worth it. Well, you can say that again. Adored by a pyromancer who serves a grave lord ritual, known only several verses of frame. Okay. That quickly fell apart. Fuck, I'm... I'm so annoyed by that. <laughs> I just like ping-ponged myself off the ledge. Again, like the one time that Dark Souls physics actually makes sense. Because... Well, actually, no, it still doesn't make sense. Like, you wouldn't be able to push yourself. How much force would you need to exert to like... propel yourself off the other... whatever. Whatever, whatever. We ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna heal just in case. Actually, I should keep it like this. 
change of tactics though definitely what we're gonna do is we will uh, go for the the run like a bitch option no sound on that either and since nothing is blocking your way hey hey actually oh thank fuck I got worried for like half a second there that that was gonna happen to me what happened to him all right we're back in the familiar this is our safe zone where are all the guys the dudes and the dudettes such a like I don't know I feel like that's such like an American expression dudes and dudettes I don't know why I associate hello rat Oh, hello, pig. Fuck. Hello, Black Knight. Apparently, it's just these enemies which are like fast slow that are so resistant to backstabs for some reason. Okay, what am I gonna do with this pig? This is blocking my way, isn't it? Oh? Yeah, show your booty to me. That was very interesting, how that dealt, like, actually zero damage. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go down, or even if it's worth for me to go down here. I feel like it's just gonna be... A fucking mosquito. Kinda makes sense. Dark damn basements. Our mosquito favorite. Well, that was a fun excursion. I hear some like a weird, there must be like some weird enemy spawn around here somewhere. Because something is w making strange noises. Sorcerer Silk Crossbow. It's the best type of crossbow there is. Maybe he's up here. Nope. Something, yeah, something is making weird noises. Can't be the rat. Maybe it is the rat. Oh, <laughs> I think it's that. Which we're promptly gonna ignore. Because if the mechanics still apply, that enemy destroys your equipment like crazy. And that would be probably the most unfortunate thing. I mean, I te still technically have a backup weapon. But this is something else. A dire ember, a dire wolf. I think we're gonna go for the shortcut. Yeah, like, uh, let's unlock it. No reason not to. Oh shit! It's a vagrant. Nice. No reason not to use these. That's the thing that's like freaking out and making weird noises and shit. Yeah. Let's walk past the concept art and... Quickly move on. I could have used the shortcut, actually. At this point, if I've gotten through this much, I'll go the normal way. Why not? It's so weird to go this way. I don't even remember what exactly this path like does or where it leads to yeah right here I'm so used to you know always abusing the jump which at this point if they left in the game for this long is pretty much an intended mechanic I would say 
I wouldn't really call that a glitch. Cool, unlock this. I should all okay, I still got plenty of time. Um what I really need to unlock is the main door. The main door normally isn't that important on what fresh hell is gonna be here. Interesting, just these guys. I'm not sure why this enemy is such a fan favorite in this area. He seems to be showing up quite often. What the shit? Oh, that was just... I thought something was on the walls. I was like, did they put one of those blight town spider things out here? But no, they didn't. Just how it looked. Listen, this is PC. We got the best graphics you could ask for. I haven't even had to use a... That's crazy. I haven't even had to use an Estus so far. That's how, like, OP I am. I am curious about no blacksmith. Just a fucking basilisks. Basilisks? Not basilisks, just a single basilisk. Okay. We finally have a gargoyle. Look at that. Where did you come from? Alright, we're gonna get you up here. Come on, chain prisoner. Oh no. That's fair and balanced. Are you too? Cool. At least everything dies quickly. The enemies that are the most dangerous, these fast slow ones. But you know, we've discussed that several times already. No need to rehash. Old points. I still think this area is a absolute wash. Cool. Door unlocked. We have a shortcut if we need to. Not a, not the worst shortcut in the world. As in, not the worst run back. We gotta check out the boss. We haven't had a boss in the last couple of areas, actually. Because we had Ash Lake, we had Blight Town. And none of them had bosses. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. Double boss time. Okay, this is not going to be difficult. Maybe this is going to be difficult. He's not going to transform, is he? I feel like I'm cheating, almost, with this weapon. Yep, cheating. Basically, Calstrus and Qualter or whatever their name was. Another track salt plate. God, I had enough of track salt plates. It's worth in every aspect. Alright, cool. 
I wonder where the exit is. I bet it's Guinevere's throne room. That was mad easy. Mad easy. Again, and I feel like it's how it's gonna be. Oh, we have a Guinevere? A Guinevere at home? Kneel. A l you still get the Lord Vessel. Lord Swords can now be captured. More treasures unlocked. Huh? Oh shit. That's how you need multiple run throughs. The five fingers. <gasps> and you lose your shit still. Okay. I think that's different, right? Oh, f f come on. Oh, come on. Okay. F fuck you, game. That was not good. We don't need internet humor in Dark Souls. Bleed, bleed that. Hmm. I think I got pretty good. What? class was I? I was a knight, right? Let's just go for warrior. Oh, man. That was... I really hoped you could go on, but that would have been too easy, right? It would have been too easy. So, apparently, what? There's now gonna be... I guess this is like... Um... When you kill mom for the first time in Isaac, and then it just like unlocks a whole other, whole other business. So we'll see what fresh hell awaits us here. I can go on a little bit longer. Speaking of fresh hell, you know. Is the game going to be more difficult now? Oh, I went for cleric, didn't I? Not warrior. It's possible that this is like ratcheting it up to 11. I'm really trying to go for that tail. If you can't tell, it ain't exactly working out. I guess you can't cut the tail off every one of these guys. That would be way too many tail weapons. Got a transient curse for no reason. Uh, so do catalysts actually just work as... Yeah, they do. That was my other kind of question. Whether catalysts work any differently. They function as normal weapons, but no. They function as catalysts. Uh oh. 1816. It is decent. It depends on what the uh, the move set is. Let's not rush things. We maybe will get some other fine weapons. You never know. That run was so good. That previous run. I pretty much want just that. So give me that run, please. That run on order. Because so far... I'm a little bit sad that I lost those weapons. Which was like an item that you get to like 
Okay, I mean, listen, you have to approach this like Isaac. Sometimes you have a good run in Isaac, and it's just, you win really quickly. And shit just doesn't go your way for a long time. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Because that mechanic still applies. Alright, that's how we're gonna do this. And I get shot as well. Oh no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like that's not gonna work. So. This is the catacombs. We have other options. We have speedrun strats going for us. I'm just gonna put it here. This I feel like is a good bomb fireplace. Yeah. And we can get our first moat. Let's get... What are my stats here? 12-12. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. What we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Lordran. Man. So we technically, quote-unquote, completed the first run. And now it's like on to bigger and better things, I'm guessing. Hopefully this run turns out to be as OP as the previous. Maybe just a tiny bit less OP, because that was fun, but... It's also fun when there's an actual challenge. Okay, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching again. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Turn on post, post notifications. I can't even talk. Yeah, turn on post notifications. And yeah, peace out. Take care and goodbye.